Let's try my hand at the creeper. All right, so sprint. Uh oh, yep. Yeah. Oops. That was. <laughs> oh no! What is going on, everybody? This is Flip, and you're watching Teaching My Dad Minecraft. This is episode three. So, uh, sorry guys, future Colin here. This is not episode three, this is episode four. Carry on, past Colin. We're in another beautiful day in this world. In the last episode, we finished up the exterior, or at least most of it, just the main components of it, of our first house. So in today's video, I think we're gonna just work on designing it a little bit more, and then also putting a ceiling in, and if we have time, I think we're gonna do a little bit of mining. But first, what we need to start out with doing is breaking this chest and moving it in our house. Which means all this stuff is going to go everywhere. So let's just go ahead and actually pick the chest up. If I can. Oh, you probably got it. Did you get it? I think so. Alright, so just come inside and put the chest in here. I think for now, just put it like at this back wall. Place it down using right click. There you go. And then if you gathered anything up from the chest that you don't want in your inventory, you can go ahead and stick it in there. And what's the quickest way to do that? Shift and left click. Don't want that right now, or that, or that, or that, or that. I'll keep the bucket on me for now. And then we can go outside and gather up more of that stuff. And, oh, it looks like we got everything. So let's just take the furnaces and the crafting table inside. And eventually, Dad, what we're gonna do once we get a lot more items, we can make multiple chests and sort out. Like, we can have a wood chest, a food chest, cobblestone chest, that sort of thing. Very nice. Now what? Alright, now I'd say we should start on the ceiling. Um, let's just make it out of oak. And what we can do is, is uh, use slabs so that we save a little bit of um, oak wood. So I'm going to go ahead and just make these into slabs and I'll split them with you. Here you go. And then if you just place it on this layer. Is there some? Is there a difference between slabs and planks? Yeah. The slabs are half. Half a block. And planks are a full block. Can I use planks to make slabs or no? Yeah. That's how you make them. Oh. So I, I just dropped you them. It's some of them though. Okay. So you just place them in on this layer right here. If you place them in on the side right there. And we're, everything's going to be on that layer. We're going to make a full ceiling yeah. on that layer. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to speed up this part of the video. And once we have the ceiling in, we'll come back. Alright guys, it looks like we are just about done filling in the ceiling. So now you can see it's a little bit darker in here. So we should probably get some torches in here, which I'm going to make more of. Alright, got 32. That should be plenty. So I just like placing them on these logs. I think it looks a little bit better. Yeah, there you go. And then it appears to be getting nighttime. So let's just go ahead and sleep. And then we can carry on. Maybe put some windows in the house. Here we are. Um, so for windows, you need to put sand in a furnace. So we need to find sand, basically, which might be the hardest part. Where do you usually find sand? Um, pretty much anywhere. I mean, there's there's lots of sand by beaches and stuff, but like by the ocean, but it looks like there's some right here, so. It's not usually at a particular layer depth or anything like that? No. Looks like there's some right here, so I'm just going to gather this up. Is that going to be enough? Uh, depends on how many windows we want to have. Every six pieces of sand makes six windows. I meant 16 windows, so... Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, just like one block? It's... Well, I like turning them into panes. Glass panes instead of just glass blocks. I think it looks better. It gives it more depth. Okay. I gathered up some sand, so now we can just... Go ahead and come put them up in our furnaces and let them smelt for a bit. Here we are. I also need to put a little bit of coal in the furnaces, so I can just split this up. 
and we'll let that smell and we'll be back. I'm gonna get some coal out here too. Alright, it looks like we've got a little bit of this glass smelted up. So, this is how you make glass panes, Dad. You just put six pieces of glass in the crafting table like that, and it makes 16 panes per six pieces of glass. So we have 48. I can split this up with you. And what I like to do is just go around the house and see what areas I want to have the windows in and break out all the areas first. So I think we could have a big window right here. I think that might look good. So if we just break this out. And then I also like to put uh, planks on the floor so that we don't have dirt in the floor. And should maybe we put a smaller window between each of the columns? Uh, what do you mean? So like, right here? Yeah, we could put the one in. It's just, I like to think about where we're going to have a little bit of decoration or different things in the house. So maybe okay. like right here we want to have some sort of like living room area. Mm -hmm. So maybe let's reserve this corner for the for some sort of decoration and then we could have some more windows here. I don't like to have too big of a window, so I was thinking we could maybe split this up into two different windows. So we could have one starting there and then one starting here. Okay. Do you always put the window uh, next to the floor? Uh, not always, but I do think it looks better in a lot of cases, so. Then we just go ahead and replace these with spruce. And then we can start placing the windows in, so if you want to start doing that, you can. I do. I want to place some windows. There you go. And then if you just place them on this wall. There we go. All done with that. And windows also help to let in more light so you don't have to have so many torches. Yeah, that's nice. And then I'm planning to put more uh, chests here, so maybe let's not put any windows on this wall. But I think we could probably have some next to our beds if you wanted to do that. Mm -hmm. Do we want to keep our beds here or do we want to move them? Well, if we're going to have a living room over in this corner, maybe we should put the beds maybe we could closer put them, to the chests. Yeah, maybe we could put them in this little gap where we didn't have any windows. Nice. That might be good. There we go. like it. And then we can put more windows here. If we just put a gap in between. Sorry about that. <laughs> I guess we just make them two like this. And then let's just fill this back in. There we go. Perfect. Now see how <clears throat> we can see the dirt in the floor right here? Yes. So let's just replace that with some with some uh, planks. There we go. That looks nice. really nice. Looking good. Yeah. And then I don't know how much more glass you have, but I think we could maybe do another big window right I've here. I've got nine panes. Nine. Okay, that might. Oh, we we have more glass in the furnace, don't we? We do indeed. All right. Yeah, we should have plenty. So let's dig out like this whole entire thing right here. Same size as the one on the opposite wall. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Here we go. Replace this with spruce. Do you have any more spruce planks, by chance? Let's check it out. Yes, I do. Alright, sweet. If you want to just go ahead and place those in these three gaps. And then we can end up finish off the window. That was not right. Oh, did you right-click uh, on I the I stripped grass? it. What? The grass. <laughs> That's just called making a path block. <laughs> so, those are good, but maybe not in not the circumstance what we that, yeah, that you just used. Are you going to have enough to finish this, or? Let's see. Two more pieces. All right, well, did you need one more? Uh, one more. It's okay, I have, <laughs> I have 16, so there we, go. we have plenty. There we go. I'd say that looks pretty nice. Looking more like a real house. Yep. All right, it looks like this chest is filled up, so I'm going to just make a couple more, I think. I'll make three more so we can have two double chests. Boom, boom. 
And then, oh, I thought I made three. I guess I only made two. One more. Is Stick this like there. a double wind? So it's actually yeah, so one it has, chest, just twice as big? Yeah, so it has twice the amount of room. Nice. Yep. So if you have anything that you want to just dump in there that you don't really need right now, you can go ahead and stick that in there. All right, now we can start with a little bit of extra design for the house. So I was thinking maybe we could put a desk and then maybe also some couches possibly. So there's different way to do couches. We could experiment with a different couple things, but first I want to try this one. So really there's not a lot of decorations in Minecraft, so a lot of the times you just have to be... You know, you have to be creative. Creative, with it. all right. That's right. So for this couch, I'm just gonna try. What was that? There's a llama trying to come into our house. <laughs> that is not allowed. <clears throat> just like that, and then we could maybe put some slabs in there to create the cushion. Just like this. There we go. What do you think oh, of that? That's good. Nice. And then looks we like could maybe have a desk in here. So. Let me try to make a desk out of some spruce. And I like to make it different than the wall so that it doesn't kind of just blend in with it. So if I place that there and then have this here and then that kind of looks like a desk. And then we can actually make a computer by smelting up a little bit of cobblestone and then making a pressure plate out of that, and then making a painting and putting it there for the computer screen. So pretty yeah, slick. for decorations, you have to be pretty creative. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and make a painting, which is one wool, and I think it's eight sticks. There we go. Perfect, now we can just stick this painting in here and get one that we like. Don't really know what all the options are. I like that one. Let's keep that. Then we can break these. Take our stone out of here and make a pressure plate. What does the pressure plate do? It acts as the keyboard. So if I put it right here, ah. you can see it kind of looks like a yes, like a computer. Laptop. Yeah, and then we could even put a chair right here. Nice. Looking good, I'd say. Got a little bit more decoration in our house now. And it appears to be getting nighttime, so let's sleep real quick. Oh yeah. Hey, there's a spider get out of here. Alright guys, we are kind of pre-recording this episode. This is gonna be episode four, but we haven't actually put out episode three yet. So I don't know if you guys have suggested any names for this dog, but if you haven't yet, then go ahead and just put those in the comments. But for now we can just go ahead and bring him inside. Oh no, is he hitting you? Yeah, <laughs> it's because um, it's because you hit me, and oh. so he tries to protect me. I think if you feed him, then he should be fine with you. Again, do you have any meat? I have some cooked pork chop. All right, go ahead and try to feed that to him and see if he likes you. After that, there you go. Now let's try to stand him up and see what happens. <laughs> oh no, no. Okay, well, I guess this guy just. I'm running like you. away. Let's just, if we sit him down, he should be fine. So I'm just gonna <laughs> bring him into the house. So I, when you say I hit you, that's from like a long time ago? Or just now um, you saw me do it? No, it wasn't just now. I don't remember when it was, but I don't know why he won't come into the house. Come in here, buddy. Is he coming in? Yeah, he's probably running there after me. There we go. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> there we go. All right, we can just put him up against here. But again, guys, if you have any suggestions for a name for the dog, then go ahead and put them in the comments, and we will definitely look at those and name him. I think now that we've got most of the interior done for our house, we can just do a little bit of decorating on the outside. And maybe not even decorating, but just some things like putting torches around the corners here and on these logs, which I think looks a little better than just having random torches on the ground. So we can go ahead and break these as we go. And there's a stray glass pane there. There we go. Oh yeah, I also wanted to replace part of that chimney with one cobblestone wall at the end of it. Because I think that might look cool, so... Let's see, where's our cobblestone at? Are we out of cobblestone? I think I have some. Okay, 
If you want to just throw me six pieces of cobblestone. And how do I throw you six? Um, it, I think if you left click. Or Q. Left click. Oh, yeah, actually, no. Press Q six times. That should work. There you go. Yeah, you're better than me. Thank you very much. <laughs> now I can go ahead and make cobblestone wall. And then if I place this at the top of the chimney, I think it might look pretty good. Any way to make smoke? Um, yes. But not with the chimney that we have. We can make fake smoke, which I do a lot with uh, glass panes coming out the top. You can stain the glass panes to make them white. And then put them on top. What do you think of that? I think I need to make it one shorter. And then put this right here. That looks good. Yeah, I like that. Eventually, I think we can put some glass panes up there to make it look like there's smoke coming out the top. But for now, I think that looks pretty nice. All right, guys, for a little bit more decoration, since we don't have any windows on this side of the house, we're gonna make a little bit of a garden. So how we're gonna do this, I think is, if we dig this out and place some water in there, then the garden should be able to grow. So I do have a bucket on me, but I don't have any water. I'm gonna go over here and grab water real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and place this water in here. And then I should just be able to place this dirt back over it. And then I need to go make a hoe and then I can start tilling the land. I'm gonna start tilling the ground. There we go. So we can make a little bit of a garden here. I'm gonna go one farther out and maybe one farther. There we go, I can go ahead and place our one little seed in the garden. That's a good start, I guess. I'm gonna go get some bones and get some bone meal so we can speed up the process a little bit. What do I do with this seed? Um, if you just put in your hotbar and then place it down on this ground. Uh, just anywhere? Yeah. Oops. That's your shovel. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now I've got a nice little garden. You have one more seed. There you go. Got does nice it multiply or does it just grow where you put it? No, it just grows where you put it. But then once once it fully grows and you break it, then it has a chance of giving you more than one ah, seed. Nice. Yep. So I think what we're going to do, guys, is put a little bit of a fence around the garden to make it look a little bit nicer. And since our walls are made out of oak, let's do that out of spruce wood. Do you have to craft a fence post yeah. or what? Okay. Which I am currently doing. Uh, I don't know how many we're gonna need, but let's just start with nine for now. And then I think we can have an opening there. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna need more than, oh wait, put this in the wrong spot. There we go, I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five more. Shouldn't be too hard. That looks good. And then I'm just gonna do torches in every corner. Or I guess just in these two corners. Nice. I'm just in here doing some barbecue. <laughs> nice. Uh, no, I don't have any. I was gonna say I could put some in too. There is a chicken right here and a cow over there that I could um, take care of so that we can get some more meat. Is that the politically correct way of saying kill? Yes, I guess so. <laughs> and another chicken I can take care of. Stick these in there. And then I... Let's see if we have any more meat in here to cook up. I'll just leave those out for now. Let's see, how much food do you have? Do you need some? I just have one piece of cooked All right, mutton. here. Take these ten pork chops. How often do you need to eat? just whenever your hunger bar goes down so <clears throat> that mutton will fill up three hunger bars so once you have three hunger bars depleted then you should eat it okay but then with your pork chops those fill up four okay so let's uh actually let's not sleep let's go out and hunt some monsters to get our xp up so should i avoid anything and, particular yeah these these green guys right here are gonna blow up if you don't them correctly so 
So right there he was actually focused on you so he didn't blow up, but what you need to do is sprint at them and hit them and then immediately just walk back and it should only take three hits to kill them with your iron sword. Let's try my hand at the creeper. Alright, so sprint. Uh oh, yep. Yeah. Oops. That was. Oh no! Oh, okay, you died. So since you slept in the bed, you can just come back over here and grab all your stuff. So does it respawn? Yeah. <laughs> Is that your first death in yeah, Minecraft? That's my first Minecraft death. Yeah, I kind of, I'm I kind so of thought that would happen. Well, it's all right. So yeah, this is this is what I was talking about with all your stuff exploding out. Mm -hmm. So it's all just sitting right here. You can come collect it. So yeah, creepers are pretty dangerous to inexperienced players. Is uh, the term yard sale a you uh, Minecraft term? Uh, Have you no, ever heard that before? Nope. <laughs> you have a few more things over here. Okay, I think I got it all. Yard sale. Yeah, that's a term that's used uh, with uh, jeepers or 4x4s when they crash and uh, lose a bunch of parts, fall off their jeep, they call it a yard sale. Oh, I've never heard of that. <laughs> hey look, there's a little creeper peeking out. Hey little creeper! <laughs> so yeah, when you, when you hit them, you want to sprint when you hit them and not jump. You just want to sprint at them and hit them and then immediately run backwards okay. with S. Oh yeah, definitely put your arm on. Oh yeah, there's a little creeper in this hole. That's funny. I think I might be able to kill him without him blowing up, but... I think I'm going to go back to the house and organize my That sounds inventory. like a great idea. I'm actually going to make a little bit more armor because I only have a chest plate right now. And actually, we could probably make full iron armor for both of us. I think that's definitely a good idea. Well, that wasn't very smart of me. I accidentally just made <laughs> made two more pairs of leggings. <laughs> That's all right. There we go. We made boots for both of us. Here you go. Have that pair. There you go. I'm gonna put these on. And then I think we should probably call the episode here. Let's do it. That was fun. Yes. Let's just put. All the stuff that we don't need right now back in the chest. There we go. Put a little bit extra coal in there. Don't need that or that. All right, we're looking good. So that was definitely a productive episode. We got our house looking nice. We got a garden, we got some torches around the outside. Made the chimney look a little bit better. And I think the biggest improvement was the inside, as we got some windows, got a nice little couch, and a desk. So, thank you guys for watching episode 4. Um, if you enjoyed it, then make sure to leave a like to support our channel, and make sure to subscribe to Flip if you haven't already. So again, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next one. See you guys! Bye.